In today's video, I purchased an unknown Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase and I am not sure what is inside. But before we actually see what's inside, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three original fusion monsters. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card in this unknown Yu-Gi-Oh collection and let's see what's inside. All right, I'm gonna open this thing up over here. One, it's too big and two, it has an address on it from the sender. So I'm going to open this thing up off camera over here and see if we can get some amazing cards in this collection. First item. Star Wars wrapping paper. I like it. Second item, bubble wrap. Anybody feel like they're opening Christmas presents with their dad right now? That's what's happening. Finally, we have a binder, which is, it's a little bent, so I'm hoping the cards are good to go. It seems like there's not a lot of cards in here. I think this was a, not a lot of cards, so low quantity, high quality. Let's see if that's the case. We have, whoa, this is a, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta stop. Okay, <laughs> what is actually in here? Okay, here we go. We're talking Starlight Rares. All right, let's get these out. We've got a Live Twin Lilitreet Starlight. That's a good start. We've got not only one, but we have a Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eye Starlight. We have a, is this a second Live Twin Lilitreet? It is. It's the second one of those. Then we have a Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. That's pretty cool as well. Oh look, more, more Empress of the Evil Eye. All right, it's the second one of those. We did pull one of these one time. Same case as the two IP, just saying. I mean, oh, three in one case, pretty cool. Dynamorphia Teresia is pretty cool. We have a Guardian Iatos. That is a secret rare from Stardust Overdrive. Very cool. Let's see what else we got. A Dark Magician Girls, this RDS promo. It is indeed. Okay, that's it. Short video, guys. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna. No, I'm just kidding. I got more. I thought that mystery collection might be like a smaller collection, so I do have a second box. This one's actually sent to us by the legend Lars, who sent us an amazing opening at one point. This time, he's actually sending us stuff to potentially buy from him. All right, his box is starting off hot with a... This is an item I've never seen before, and guess who made it? Vintage sports cards. Anybody remember them? They made or they package the counterfeit UDE products, which is pretty interesting. We have a three booster pack item. This contains Legacy of Darkness, Pharaoh's Servant, not Ferrani Guardian, and Magician's Force. That's pretty cool. There's Vintage Sports Cards down there, all the way in Conroe, Texas. That is a pretty cool third package product. I mean, it has a blue eyes on there, which makes no sense because and Magical or Relinquished. There's neither of those packs in there, which is kind of funny. But nevertheless, a very cool item. Then we have a Ancient Sanctuary booster box, which doesn't seem to be sealed. So I'm guessing there's some other packs inside. It's like Ancient Sanctuary. So Ancient Sanctuary with Ancient Sanctuary packs. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I was expecting it to be different packs. I wonder if this is a full box. Six, 12. It looks like it's a full box worth. 449, I will be taking that price, Lars. Thank you very much. <laughs> that would be nice. A 449 per pack on Ancient Sanctuary, but probably not these days. That's a pretty cool item. So we're talking old school. I forgot there were packs in his box. Pretty cool packs, you know, products. It's already a great start for Lars. We got another box. This one is Ferrani Guardian. Will this contain Ferrani Guardian packs? Let's find out. It does, okay. Ferrani Guardian, 449 yet again. Beautiful, nice price for me. We even have some pins inside. We got the red eyes, we got the Dark Magician and the blue eyes. Look at that, the big three right there. Besides, you know, of course, Exodia, don't leave him out. It's big four. Oh man, and we got more old school packs. We got Invasion of Chaos. We've got Invasion of Chaos, a bunch of those. Wow, those are pretty cool. So there's some different versions here, as you can see. We have Shonen Jump, uh, trading card game. Looking a little different on these. What's the difference there? I'm sure somebody's yelling at me right now. I mean, this is like the outline is a little bit different, a little bit darker. There's a few other things I'm sure we could figure it out. Spell Ruler, I wonder if these are not, not from Canada, so not, these are probably 2004 packs then. They fit US and Canada, 2003, the 10s and stuff. Uh, looks like Dark Crisis, and we've got a couple of, there's US and Canada, that's a 10 pack. That is also a 10 pack from Ferrani Guardian. Then we have some Ancient Sanctuary, more for the 449. We got First Dead Invasion of Chaos, a couple of those it looks like, that's pretty insane. Legacy of Darkness, Ancient Sanctuary, these are the First Deads, and then, okay. A couple more inches sanctuary with that Ferronic Guardian. So big time first ed packs there. So it, I did thought this was a lot of singles. I think there are singles, but I was I kind of forgot about the packs. Then we have more Legacy of Darkness. Holy crap, this is a lot of old school packs. This will make for some epic openings, assuming that we actually pick these up, which I'm feeling pretty good about picking these up right now. I really like old school unlimited. 
It's really fun to open. Not really worth your money when it comes to actually opening packs. Neither is First Ed, to be honest, but they're a little bit cheaper and you can make some great content with them, which is, you know, that's why we're buying them. We have one more box of packs and then we have a few singles as well. This one actually has some promos inside, which is, looks like they're from tins or something. You know, like this is from the Draco Quiz tin, stuff like that. Okay, cool stuff. Red Dragon Archfiend, that one was open. Elf and the Raven Ulti from Raging Battle. Very nice. Then some more Unlimited, Labyrinth the Nightmare. There's the Magic Ruler we're looking for. Very nice. Magic Ruler Unlim. And then some more Pharaonic Guardian. So tons and tons of packs in this box, which is pretty awesome. All right, now we have a couple single deck boxes, actually three of them. So let's see what's inside of here. Starting off with some Ultis. That's a good start. Multiple Piece Golem. We got Loki. This is some 5Ds era. Majestic Red Dragon Ultra. We got some supers. I don't know if these are in order in any way. Okay, Arcanite. Magical Android. I still need a first dead for my Edison deck. Right now I have Unlimited, which the Unlimited is actually pretty hard to find. There's only a couple prints of Magical Android. Twin Barrel Dragon. Looks like a lot of supers right now. We need to look for the, uh, is the guy, uh, the little plant dude that was like 65 bucks in our, or, 55 minute opening the other day. Is he in here for Edison? What's his name? Uh, the cluster, Phoenixian cluster or something. Extremely expensive, super rare. We have Knight of the Red Lotus, Twin Barrel Kunai with Chain. We have Guaki Mirror Power Load, Delta Crow, Swallow Nest, Swallow Flip, Super Nimble Hamster. That's a good one for uh, Edison format. It's probably worth a little bit. Couple Nimble Hamsters, very nice. Preparation, Rime, I'm just looking for a lot of these era, like Jester Confident, there's a lot of expensive supers that just haven't had a reprint. So they're usable at all. They're gonna go like to like 10, 15, 65 bucks, you know, whatever. All right, next box, we have an XX Saber Dark Soul. We got some Saber Vault Secrets, Thor, more supers. Is it a lot of supers again? There's an Ultra Nordic Lights, but that's not a big one. Stardust, we have XX Saber Gotems. We have uh, Red MD, which is also an Edison card at this point. Dandelion, pretty good. Lord of Darkness. I mean, this era is Edison era. I mean, you know, 5Ds is basically when it happened. Red Eyes Wyvern, I played against that. The Red Dark Dragons or whatever. Eradicator Epidemic. We have Solar Recharge. There's some stuff on these sleeves, which is making them slide weird. Solar Recharge. More Wyvern. We have Lord of Darkness. We have Gotham's uh, Higher... I was going to say Higher Erratic. Heraclinos, different card. Eradicator Epidemic is a pretty expensive card. I mean, it's a few dollars. We have a Light and Darkness Dragon, Hand Six Samurai, and Fulham Knight. Then we've got a few more cards. We have Drill Warrior, Dandelion, Red Eyes Wyvern, Lord of Darkness, Harvest Angel of Wisdom, Ill Blood, Red Eyes Wyvern. I can't do a lot of Red Eyes Wyvern. They are promos, I think. Ill Blood's pretty nice as well. So, not that hard to get, but I do think they're kind of expensive. This looks like it might be the high end one. Check this out. Look at that. That is some crazy centering right there. We got to look at this thing before we move on. Quacky Mirror Gravity Rose. Literally, there is no top edge and there's a giant bottom edge. That is one of the coolest cards I've seen in a while. That is super cool. I like that. I love way off centered cards like in the middle. I hate them when they're way off center. I love them. Very cool. Gravity Rose. We have a couple Majestic Red Dragons. Very cool. Ancient Fairy. Go Yo Guardian. Good Edison. Explosive Magician, Moon Dragon Quilla. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry guys, but we can't look at all these out of the sleeves. I'm talking to you, E3 Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, we have Elfin, we have Doom Kaiser. I mean, there's a lot of cards to look at today. I know, I know it doesn't shine quite the same. It's not the same, but if we get a really not drill warrior, that's pretty cool. Quarry Mirror, Urnite. I mean, there's some great stuff in here. Crusader, this is another one that went way up because of uh, Edison. Strong Wind, we have the Earthbound Immortal Psych. These are all on limbs, unfortunately, but you know, it's just really hard to get these in first eds. Goyo Ultra, pretty cool from Dual Genesis. Plague Spreader, we've got some Earthbound, we got some Forbidden Chalices. Avenging Knight Parshath, another one who went crazy. There's only two prints of this. It's a common and legendary collection 5Ds and this, I believe. And then Earthbound Linewalker. Then we've got uh, Treacherous Trapple Zeta. Reticulant. I think this is like a $30 card. I think if I remember correctly. Armatile's nice. Clear World Overwhelm. Machine Lord, Z-Man, Psychokinesis, Violet, Blackwing. Oh, Norwemco, we have another Blackwing. That's a pretty decent one. Some of these, I, I might be thinking of first eds or ulti prices, but when I say like they're crazy or whatever, but there is like one of the versions is a lot. Another Endymion. And a last little stack here. We got some more Ultras, Bone Crusher. We've got Flambell Commando, Revive King Hades, Norwemco, Zombie Skull. I mean, this is another crazy super. It's like five to $10 a lot of the time. Magical Android, not first dead, dang it. Brutal, we have the uh, 
C Counselor Lily, Kunai with Chain Man. Really just a lot of playable cards for Edison in these cards. Another Unlamp. Come on, where are the first heads? We got an Izanagi for Naruto fans. All right, that turned out to be pretty insane. There's a lot of amazing cards in both of these collections that I just looked at. And there's a lot of awesome packs you will probably see on the channel opened up. So look forward to that and make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.